free body diagram elevator accelerating down the free body diagram of an object is as shown right the equation of motion direction of acceleration is down we have the bigger vector pointing down the smaller vector pointing up the one that is pointing up is the tension the one that is pointing down is the gravitational force so given the lengths of the arrows what can we say it is accelerating down so the free body diagram of an object is as shown right the equation of motion direction of acceleration is down give a real life scenario to go with the free body diagram we already know what the real life scenario is and that is elevator accelerating down elevator is accelerating down if the elevator is accelerating down there is a net force down if net force is down downward force is greater than the upward force what is upward tension what is down what is acting vertically down the gravitational force w so here is our mass here is our non zero mass here is our small vector tension t and here is our big vector gravitational force mg so w is equal to mg so what is the equation of motion gravitational force minus tension equals net force equals ma so w minus t equals ma so w minus t equals ma or mg minus t is equal to ma so let us look at the vectors from a common sense point of view we are told that the gravitational force is greater than tension because the length of the arrow for the gravitational force was drawn to be greater than the length of the tension arrow so based on that we see that the bigger force is the gravitational force and the smaller force is the tension so the bigger force minus smaller force equals net force net force is always mass times acceleration so gravitational force minus tension is equal to net force and gravitational force is mg minus t equals ma so magnitude combined with direction gives you the vector right so we know the magnitude and that is a and then we know it is down so that makes it a vector now let's do vector sum tension is pointing up so we have to have so this is positive y tension is pointing along positive y so that is positive t gravitational force is pointing along negative y so it is negative mg our acceleration is down so m times negative a so we get t minus mg equals negative ma multiply both sides by negative 1 Negative one times t minus mg equals negative one times negative ma. Distribute negative one to both tension and negative mg, and what do we get? Negative t. Negative one times t is negative t. Negative one times negative mg is positive mg, and negative one times negative ma is positive ma. So this is negative t plus mg equals ma. and that is the same as mg minus t equals ma mg minus t equals ma and this is george matthew signing off good luck